This Linus Tech Tips video card benchmarking guide is brought to you by our trusted graphics partner, EVGA. Welcome to the jungle indeed. Our level of choice for Crisis 3 benchmarking and our platform is powered by an EVGA GeForce GTX Titan graphics card. Although uh, we're not giving any performance numbers in this particular video. We have a separate video with benchmarks for the GTX Titan itself. Uh, this is mostly focused on the all new Crisis 3. How to benchmark this game for yourself so you'll have results that you can easily compare to the ones that Slick and I are publishing in all of our video card and CPU reviews. So this is the run that we use. From the Welcome to the Jungle level, it's one of the auto saves, so you'll just have to sort of trial and error it until you find the right one. I'm going to have Slick do a little walk through so you can it's a two minute run we use fraps to record the minimum maximum and average fps and slick will show you exactly how to do the run the same way that we do we start off just by jumping down here i activate armor but you don't actually need it because by the time we get into a firefight you'll regen all your hp anyways the beginning of this benchmark is pretty passive uh, it doesn't actually start until he gets up to the top of the ramp by the way i'll show you exactly where we start the benchmark starts right here right when you see his back um, like I was saying, the beginning of the benchmark is pretty passive. Um, there's kind of two parts to this benchmark. The first part, we're just showing off like water effects, uh, collision as Psycho and myself run through grass and coming up here in a little bit, collision as Psycho and myself run through um, some cloth that's hanging from the ceiling. So it's just more showing off different parts of the Crisis engine and letting it do its thing. And then the second part of the benchmark is a lot more action. There's explosions, fire, killing, etc. So some more grass collision here and then there's the cloth collision. So what we do up here is just we whip out our bow and then he's gonna climb up that ladder on the left and something falls off of it makes a big noise and then when he looks down at us and when he motions downward with his hand, so right there, we're gonna go through the door. Then this part needs to be done very quickly so you don't get wrecked. Um, get to the top of the stairs, scope in, and take out this turret real quick with explosive arrows. And then kill this guy. You're going to want to deke right away because, not this time, but sometimes they throw grenades at you. So you don't want that to affect your benchmark at all. Pull up that barrel, and then take out this guy on the left. If he's not here, there can be one to two guys here. If he's not there, he's just to the right here. Uh, there's usually only one guy, but there may be two. Pump the stairs right here. And then again, there's usually about one to two people at the top of these stairs. Let's see how many guys are there this time. Looks like there's only one, so we're going to take him out and then go to the left here and jump in the last section of this broken down train. And then you want to fight here. Uh, you want to keep pushing, so don't worry too much about taking damage because you will very likely not die. But just keep moving forward and just keep shooting. And then you just do the jump here at the end of the bridge, and the benchmark should end right there. Uh, if not, it'll end right there for you, and you might want to run it again, but it should be okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our Crisis 3 benchmarking guide. Happy benchmarking, and this is interesting. What an uncomfortable way to die. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.